All right. Uh, our big idea continues to be to describe patterns and tables and graphs can help us to solve problems and to describe the world. Today our concept is to demonstrate an understanding that an expression can be used to express a pattern rule. And this is Unit 1, Lesson 4. All right, so to find a pattern rule, oh, sorry, that relates the input to the output. So here we see it's going from 1 to 7, 2 to 11, 3 to 15, and so on. Um, if we look at our output to output rule, 7 to 11, 11 to 15, 15 to 19, we know we're adding 4 each time. So let's use that to help us figure out our rule. Um, all right, so as it says here, that suggests that the input number might be multiplied by 4 because it's definitely increasing. We could add by 4 or multiply by 4. Let's start with trying multiplying by 4 since that's what they suggest here. 1 times 4 is 4. To get to 7, we're going to have to add 3. So let's see, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Okay, perfect. We have determined our rule. It is times 4 plus 3. So we would normally say this is our input times 4 plus 3 equals our output. And that's how we would write our rule. We can also write this as an expression where we have a letter that replaces the word input. So we could say i times 4 plus 3 equals output. And then it is um, using a variable or a letter to replace input. Actually, usually when it's an expression, we don't have an equal part here. So let's get rid of that. All right, so our expression would be i times 4 plus 3. You can replace it with any letter you like. Certain letters are bad choices. Uh, so for example, x, not good, looks like a times. s, not good, looks like a 5. t, not good, looks like a plus sign. o, not good, looks like a 0. So be careful about what letters you choose. n is often chosen. 4 times n plus 3 would be our rule. Um, and again, it doesn't matter. Remember, order of, or sorry, commutative property. It doesn't matter what order we multiply in. Uh, sometimes you'll see it written like this, 4n plus 3. And when there is no sign, it means multiply. So 4n is the same as 4 times n. This being the expression, or this being the expression, that shows the rules. So we've now shown the rules in tables, or sorry, shown patterns in tables. We've shown patterns by showing them as rules. We can show patterns as an expression. All right, uh, we can also use patterns to help us solve problems. So here is our problem. Manoa works at a fishing camp in the Yukon. She earns $25 every day plus $8 for each fishing net she repairs. On Saturday, she repairs nine nets. How much money did she earn? All right, so two strategies to find out. We're going to make a table and use it that way, okay? So we know first net, or first thing, she gets $25 automatically for um, showing up to work, I guess. And then for each net that she repairs, she gets an extra $8. So one net, she would get $33. Two nets, she would get $44. And each time we're adding eight, okay? Um, and we're continuing that table. Four nets, $57. Five nets, $65. Six nets, $73. We're adding eight. Uh, seven nets, $81. We've added eight. Eight nets, $89. We've added eight. And nine nets, $97. We've added eight. Okay, so the strategy we've used here is extending the table. We've extended the table to figure out our answer. Um, we've just done adding 8 each time. We've used the output to output rule and the input to input rule to help us solve that. That works. We found our answer. 
Now a more effective way to do that is to use the variable in an expression to use our rule. Okay, so we know that right away, it doesn't matter how much, uh, how many nets, she gets $25. So we're adding $25. Then she gets $8 per each net. So if it's zero nets, it would be eight times zero. If it's one net, it's eight times one. If it's two nets, it's eight times two. If it's three nets, it's eight times three. So it would be eight times n, so number of nets plus 25. That would be our expression that we could use to solve that. We can easily just drop 9 right in there to replace the n. So 8 times 9 is 72 plus 25 equals 97. Much more efficient way of solving the problem. All right, just to review, an expression represents the number with variables, operations, and numbers. So an expression has a number, the 8, the variable, which is the letter, um, and it has operations. So this one has times and it has plus. Um, a variable, remember, is the letter that stands for the number that you don't know. So at this point, it was the number of nets, and we had n as the number of nets. That's the number that we don't know. Remember when you're choosing a variable, you want to choose a number or a letter that does not look like a math symbol, does not look like a number. All right, now it's your turn to practice. Um, we have Kaylee, Keely, I'm not sure, who is building model cars. She needs four plastic wheels for each car. You are to first make a table to show the number of wheels you would need for uh, one, two, five cars. One, two, three, four, five. Write the pattern rule that relates the number of cars to the number of wheels. Write the expression then that represents that pattern. And use that expression to find the number of wheels needed to build 11 cars. Consider how you can check your answer. Go ahead and press pause and do that with your partners. Now, on paper, showing your work, you may use a calculator. All right, so to start with, we're going to uh, 1A, create the table. Oops, sorry, 1A. Don't need that line. Um, our table, and in an effort to seek to be understood, I'm going to label this very clearly. This is the number of cars. And this is the number of wheels. And we were asked to show this for one, two, three, four, and five cars. One car would need four wheels. Two cars would need eight wheels. Three cars would need four more, or 12 wheels. Four cars would need four more, 16 wheels. And five cars would need four more, 20 wheels. All right, 1B asks us to write a pattern rule that relates the number of cars to the number of wheels. Well, we would need the number of cars. Hmm, our rule, let's see. If we were going from one to four, two to eight, three to 12, we can see here we're adding four each time. We're trying something with four. Uh, let's try times four. 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16. So it is times 4. So number of cars times 4 equals the number of wheels. Now, 1C asks us for the expression. So we need a number to, sorry, a letter to replace what we don't know. And what we currently don't know are the number of cars. So I'm going to make it C times 4, because that was what that's what our rule was, multiplying by 4. 1D, oops, sorry, asks us to find out what it would be for 11 cars. Well, let's use our rule to help us figure that out. 11 cars now times 4 would equal 44. So we would need 44 wheels if we were doing 11 cars. How could we check that answer? Well, we could extend our table. 
So if I were extending my table, I'd have six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's see if I can move this up. 10 and 11. And we're adding four each time, so 24, 28, 32, 36, plus four is 40, plus four is 44. Yep, I can check by extending my table that this answer is in fact correct. It would be 44. See how though using the expression and the rule is much more effective than extending the pattern. It takes less time, but you both work. So use whichever one works for you. Just know that at points, depending on how far you're extending that table, it could take a lot longer. All right, now you're moving on to your concept practice. And you are working on page 222, 223, numbers 2, 4, and 6. And you are using expressions to show the pattern rule. Make sure when you're using expressions, as we've mentioned now for the third time, do not use letters that look like a math symbol, like an X or a plus. Don't use um, letters that end up looking like numbers, like S looks like five, zero, O looks like zero, um, lowercase L looks like one, and so on. Be careful about what numbers, what letters you use to replace your numbers. And as you're working, of course, if you do not understand or you have any questions, please ask.